Welcome to an episode of Liberty Basic Essentials. Today we're going to go over the very beginner uh, techniques of printing, displaying information. Let's get started. So I'm going to get started by starting up Liberty Basic. And we're going to create a, a new program. So we click on this new file button. Now when you're programming in BASIC, as opposed to most other languages, say Python or, or some other popular language, there's usually very simple ways of producing um, information to the screen. And in BASIC, the word that we use is called print. So I'll just type the word print. Some other languages also use the word print. So let's say I want to print some numbers. Okay, I can say if I want to print three, I say print three. And if I come up here and I click on run, then it will create a little execution window and it will print the number three. If I want to print several numbers, I can put commas in between them. So three, four, and five, and I run it. And it produces the output of three, four, and five with some spacing in between them. Let's say I want to do some math. Okay, so let's say I'll add another value on the end and I say three plus four. Now it's going to produce four values with seven over here. Okay, and we add some more. I can print words to the screen just as easily using the print command or word. In basic, commands are often called statements. Um, these terms, command and statement, are used interchangeably. So if I say print, and then I want to print some words, for example, a classic program in most languages for the beginner is called Hello World. So what you do is you put those words in between double quotes. So, Hello World. So I, I have a quotation mark here, and then over here I have another quotation mark. If I run this, then it prints those four numbers, and then it prints Hello World. Now, I can mix things together on the same line using this um, the text here, Hello World, and some numbers. Uh, for example, I can use the commas like I did above. So, for example, Hello World, comma, 2100. It puts those on the same line together, hello world in 2100. If I want to control the spacing very tightly, then I can use a semicolon instead of a comma. So I'll put a semicolon here. Now you see hello world in 2100 together. So if I wanted there to be a space between the two, I would just add a space after the exclamation point. Okay, so this is called a string. When you have a bunch of characters, letters, numbers, commas, spaces, whatever, and you put them together in between quotes, that's called a string. All right, let's take it the next step further. So if I say, oh, I want to um, put that string or numbers inside of what's called a variable, then I would do the following. So if I say, if I give myself a variable called name dollar sign, any variable with the dollar sign on the end of it allows me to put a string in it. So if I say, that name dollar sign equals Uncle Ben, then after this executes, then that variable will contain the string Uncle Ben. It's called a variable because it varies. It doesn't stay the same all the time. It can change. I'll demonstrate. Well, first, I'll run this, and you'll see, okay, you don't see the Uncle Ben because we didn't print it. But it is in memory. Of, it's in the memory of the program as Uncle Ben. So now, you know, on the next line, if I say print, then you'll see the Uncle Ben. All right. 
Now, let me demonstrate how a variable can change. So let's come up with a different one. We'll say address. Address dollar sign. We'll hold a string. So address dollar sign equals 100. This is not a number. This is a string. Now if I say print address dollar sign and I run it and it will say 100. Now if I I want to change the variable I can say 100 Main Street and then print that. You see that the var value doesn't stay the same. It varies. That's why it's called a variable. And you can do the same with numbers as well. So if I say that my age is 35, let's run that, and, okay, age is 35. So let's do a little math. We can say that age equals age. So we take the value of age and we add one to it. So now age will equal, take a guess, 36. So now we can uh, make a fancier print statement saying, okay, that's name. And now I'm going to show you again how to mix values on a line, like we did on the second line up here. But we're going to do it with variables. So, okay. So name, which would be Uncle Ben, is age, years old. So here's the variable name, Uncle Ben. Here is a string with spaces before and after the word is. Here is a variable age, which will be 36. And here's another string. And in between each of these, we put the semicolon. This tells basic that there's another value to follow, follow after. So it allows you to connect all these things together when it prints it. So here we go, run that. Uncle Ben is 36 years old. Okay, now, another thing that you can do is you can actually um, make a string out of all of this. This is sort of a bonus, okay? So I can make a string with all of this in it. It's easy to do. Let's copy this. I'll put it in front. We'll change the program so that it actually does it this way. So we'll say that our text equals this. And then down here, I'll just print text. Oops. Let's try that. Okay. So that's our lesson for today. I hope you found it helpful. See you next time.